Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today I've got another episode of the Bioshock Infinite game playthrough for you, and I hope you'll enjoy it. And I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far, so make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you'll never miss when I upload. See ya! Who <laughs> rare is the man who takes a stand for God and sweetest fatherland? But here's the place where we revere the heroes of our city fear. Commander of the 7th Cavalry. That man did not leave the 7th. Hell, I don't even remember the guy. Corporal DeWitt proved his worth on the field that day. Well, I'll be. Slate? Is that you? You've always been different, haven't you, Booker? You crave no glory. Look, I see you're caught up in some kind of jam here. If you could see fit to let us through to where they keep the shock jockey, then we'll... That tin soldier, Comstock. Once my boy's dead, we won't die at his hands. There's going to be trouble. All my men have left is a choice. Die at the hands of a tin soldier, or a real one! You see? You see, you're a killer, fucker! Like it or not! Just give us the shock jockey. If you want the vigor, Booker, you will give my men a soldier's death. They wait for you and wound me and Becky. Try to keep you stocked with both bandages and ammo, but the right materials aren't always at hand. What is this? It's the Boxer Rebellion. What happened there? In Peking? It was my hand that put the sword to the torch. Of course, that's not how Comstock tells it. Was yellow skin and slanted eyes that did betray us with their lies until they crossed the righteous path of our prophet's holy wrath. Oh, I read about this. Comstock led the Colombian troops. Comstock wasn't there! The boxers took my eye and 
Just give me what I need. I will. After you do the same for me. Come and look for me amongst the ghost dancers. Who are the ghost dancers? Wounded me. He means us to head to the other display. Can you hear Comstock's tin soldiers coming to silence us? But we are the true patriots. The history that does not fit in their books. Red, they danced amongst our noble dead, but when our soldiers took the field, the savage horde could only yield. You, you were there. That wounded knee. I can see it in your face. Tell her, Booker. Tell her how we strode that battlefield like the heroes of Sparta. I still hear the screams. Let's come, Stark. Here's the soldier I spoke of! The kind of man Comstock pretends to be! See if I told you true! That's all you got! For this, I have no quarrel with these men. Heroes never ask. I never claim to be no hero. And what are you? If you take away all the parts of Booker DeWitt you tried to erase, what's left? Come back to the rotunda. It's almost over. What did Slate mean? Why did you try to erase? Now that you're out of yours, you might realize cages have their advantages. A choice is better than none, Mr. DeWitt. No matter what the outcome. Yeah. What if you woke up one day and realized you didn't like what you chose? You will find me past the First Lady's memorial. Comstock has done to my history. Now see. 
see how he's rewritten his own. More money. Cash. Much obliged. The seed of the prophet lay in the womb of Our Lady, but for a single week. Comstock had a child. My books never mention anything about a child. That's quite an admission. Can't imagine that was by accident. The child took ill, and Our Lady prayed for the Prophet's heir day and night. That's my tower. Lo, while Daisy Fitzroy has murdered my beloved, she shall not have the child. She shall not come betwixt her and prophecy. The seed of the Prophet shall sit the throne and drown in flame the mountains of man. <laughs> Comstock's daughter. No, I can't be. I, I can't. He wants you to follow in his footsteps. Well, I want a puppy, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna get one. Elizabeth? these bars, but you're too broad. Let me scout ahead, see if there's some way to move forward. Look. Is that? It's a tear. Something I can bring into this world. It's a freight hook. Well, that's convenient. As I said, it's a form of wish fulfillment. Open. Sure thing. I fear there's more where that came from. Whenever I'd get anxious, tears have a way of appearing. Booker, do you see those tears? We can use them against Slate's men. That tear will get us access to higher ground. And that one will give us a turret. And some cover. Open it! Not sure I understand this, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> Enough, Slate. Need money? We just need the vigor to get out of Columbia. We're taking it one way or another. Slate! Keep your eye open for that shock jockey, Vigor. Thank you. 
here is the man who takes the stand in human God and sweetest fatherland. And here is the place where we revere the heroes of our city. Team Booker. That's what Comstock will turn us into. Wires and gears to replace heads and hearts. Take a look at this lock. Really? That little old lock. All done. The whole place is ransacked. There ain't no shot jockey here. Slate must have got a lock here. Him. Look. Done. Can you help me out with this lock. Let me have a look. here. Until he's turned us into ten. I won't let him. He took my past. But that's all he's getting from me. Just give us the vigor. We don't need to do this. Here you go, boys. A soldier's death awaits.
on your plate! Finish it! it was mercy comstock's men would have taken him i suppose it was do you ever get used to it the killing faster than you can imagine Soft and salts. Thanks.
want to hold on to this? Much obliged. certain to attend to that distinction. Booker, there's a moment when we're not being shot at. If you're interested, I spotted some supplies over there. Be more to this place than meets the eye. Tip of the hat. Indeed. I think I understand how you do what you do. I always thought of them as doors. When I was younger, I didn't just open the ones I found. I remember making them. Making them? I could go wherever I wanted. But who 
I just wanted to come back. To what? I don't know. My family? Huh. How do you do that? Whatever it is. You know how I said I had plenty of time to read? I tried to figure it out. I read literature on physics and other such things. Yeah? And what did that teach you? That there's a world of difference. Elizabeth! What we see and what is. Fitzroy. I won't steal up on you while you slumber like these Vox boys here with their pink stickers. Oh, no! That's oh. one scalp to me. That's two. Now when you hear this, I want you to square your affairs and come die in the side of the poets. You'll need a white man's weapon. Give this a try.
to the Lord. Conscious on the beach, you kept repeating a woman's name. Anna. I don't want to talk about that. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have pried. Where are you from, Mr. DeWitt? New York. What did you do there? Business much like this. Not something that really cables writing on a resume. It was a fine thing you came along when you did. <laughs> How do you think I ended up here? I gambled, and now I owe money to men you don't want to be in debt to. I come here to pay it back. Me busting you out. What do you think that was? Charity? Who sent you? Somebody who was willing to take my marker in exchange for you. Like they call you the false shepherd. And you the lamb. Let's not call each other that. Suits me. How do you figure they'd know you'd be coming? Either they've got a prophet on their side. Har har. Or them that hired me also wrote the signs. Why? Got me. Mr. DeWitt, time to study things like geography. I owed money, and there's a fellow who... He offered to wipe away my debt in exchange for you. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. 
Everything's gonna be okay. Will you just turn around and talk to me and we can- <laughs> <laughs> 